What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Ron No Guns from the Outlet Podcast. The greatest and latest, the boldest in the corners, aka Platinum with No Features, aka Light Share, subscribe to the Hustle Line, goddamn. So, running home with the music off, just got done listening to this Jada Kiss album, and quite frankly, this shit, hard as shit. I'm not gonna lie to you. New York niggas make some of the best music, in my opinion. But, with that being said, I just was sitting there thinking about something, man. I be watching motherfuckers on Facebook, and a lot of the things I say come from the timeline, all right? Listen, if there's one thing I can't stand, it's being locked in with a group of other niggas, all right? I don't like being mixed in with other people, with well, niggas especially, like, like, I'll hang around a girl, and then she'll react to me a certain kind of way based off what the last few niggas did. And this happens several times, so I'm not talking about no one in particular, but it's something that happens to me a lot, was people think I'm gonna treat them the same way that the last nigga did, and it's like, I'm the kind of person, if I'm your friend, if I call you my friend, you're my fucking friend. Like, I will drive miles to see you. I don't give a fuck how anybody else feels about it. If I claim you're my, being my friend is an honor to me. You being like us, a friendship me, I hold people that I care about in the highest regard. If you're my friend, I hold you in the highest regard. I will do anything for you, but do not cross me. Do not cross me, but, what I'm saying is, I hate being locked in with people. Like, I hate how, like, women get on my nerves sometimes, but men get on my nerves much worse. Much, much worse. I hate being around a group of dudes. I don't hang with dudes. One of my friends said a while back, she's like, it might do you some good to have more guy friends. I said, fuck no. I don't give a fuck about hanging with a bunch of dudes because one, like, women are, women move and maneuver a certain type of way and, you know, women do sneaky shit and, you know, women lie, you know, basic, you know, girl shit. And I'm not saying all women lie, but I'm saying like, you know, most women don't have to live by a certain code. Like, they, it's called being a man for a reason. You know what I'm saying? And I, between that and I hate the term like real nigga, like I'm starting to really dislike, like, no, not real nigga, real man, or both, they both the same thing, right? But I hate when people, like dudes get online, they like, Oh, well, you know, a real man would do this and a real digger would do this and a real motherfucker. Y'all don't know shit about being real. Y'all don't know the first fucking thing about being real. A lot of you niggas fucking homeboys bitches. A lot of niggas try to, a lot of you niggas try to backstab your homeboys. A lot of you niggas get jealous when your homeboy make more money than you. Listen, I feel jealousy, but if my friend ever tells me, if, if someone that I care about, it's my friend, tells me that he's got a new job, he's making more money than me i'm not gonna hate on this man you know what i'm saying i might talk some shit about his ass but and i might fuck with him and pick on him and everything and all this other shit but i'm not gonna sit there and be like oh you a fuck nigga for leaving and doing this and listen man do not lock me in ladies or anybody within the side of my voice do not lock me in the category with these other niggas i am not like the mother niggas and i hate saying that because i sound like a fucking cliche but i'm telling you that's what it is if i tell you i care about you i mean it I don't just be saying words out my mouth just for the sake of it. Like, if I give a fuck about you, I give a fuck about you. Can't okay? nobody change that but you. Like, you gotta really do some extreme shit for me to really be like, you know what, fuck you. Like, cause I was on the phone, I was on my friend's house, right? And I'm on the phone with my baby mama and I'm just, you know, I'm chewing out giving her the business and shit, right? And my homegirl's like, why are you so hard on her? I'm like, because she really pushed me, like she took advantage of my kindness when we were together. And I'm not a forgiving soul, like I'm not, I mean, I don't walk around with malice in my heart, but it's like, once you cross me, it's kind of like, it's hard for you to come back to the other side. It's really hard for you to come back to the other side with me. Like, I'm not one of them niggas that's forgiving like that. I am. I don't give a fuck about forgiveness. Like, if you really do something to me. Now, if you make a mistake and you're my friend, like, all right, then that's one thing. You know what I'm saying? But, like, if you hurt me or whatever, like, if, if you if you do, if, you can, if I can see where you're coming from, like, why I did it and, Cause I fuck up Like I'm not the oracle I mean I do feel like the oracle But If I make a mistake I'm a big enough person To apologize for If I know I really fucked up But If you do something on Like some real fuck shit to me Don't come around me Don't Do not come around me dude Do not come I'm, I'm, I'm telling you I'm gonna go to jail And Oh my god I hate flaw thick ass people Like you. I'm telling you 2020 since I've been 30, I've been getting blindsided more than ever. And I'm telling you, like, 
If you flaw as fuck, you don't, we don't like each other, you know we ain't on good terms, listen, keep your motherfucking distance because I cannot promise you I won't do nothing to you. I'm telling you, I go through hell and high water trying to keep my job, man. I go through hell and high water trying to keep my job. Do not lock me in with these other niggas. Like, I'm, man, only got like four homeboys, real shit. I got, no, they my brothers. I don't have, I don't have an actual, like, blood brother. But I have like people that are close to me that I consider brothers. Like, one of my homeboys out here with me, he do the road shit. My other homeboy, my other, my other brother drive a truck. The other one's in prison. The other one got four kids and a wife. Like, listen, think of it like, all right, I'm putting this. Anybody that knows me that knows Steve, right? That know, that know me and Steve were like this. Steve is my brother. Like, I don't give a fuck if I don't talk to Steve for 10 years. If I see him, that's my brother. Cause I know that man got a wife kids and a family you know what i'm saying i know it ain't like you just we've been to just be rapping all day and talking about the good old shit and we used to play xbox at my mama's house when he used to step on my bush like you know step on my mama's bushes and shit to knock on my window and shit like crazy shit like that like i've known that nigga since fifth grade i'm not finna bring no new niggas around me bro like yeah i'm cool with being pals like okay like even with the road shit my homeboy's like, you got to communicate, network, and this and the third. Like, I'll network with somebody and get their number, but it's like, I'm not crazy about doing that shit because sometimes I feel like I'm using people for a means to an end. And I don't like using people. It doesn't sit right with my spirit. It doesn't. I'm not fake like that. Like, if I don't like you, I'm the kind of person, if I don't fuck with you, if I do not fuck with you, you will know. There won't be no gray area. It won't be, oh, you acting funny with me. Uh, I don't want to talk to you because of whatever mystery shit you did. And you come around me and I'm acting funny. Listen, if I got a problem with you and I don't like you, you're going to know. You're going to know. You're not going to mistake it for anything else. I am not like these other niggas, man. Do not lock me in with these other people. Like, these niggas really be posing with you and fucking... I hope they okay. Um, these other niggas really be posing in pictures with each other and all this other shit. And to be real, y'all don't really fuck with each other, man. Like, I'm like that with a lot of niggas in Hazers. Like, I don't fuck with niggas from Hazers. Because a lot of y'all niggas is on fuck shit. Like, y'all on bullshit. And a lot of y'all, we, you know, a lot of y'all graduated from school with me and all the other shit. Listen, that's cool, G. That's cool, G. Y'all don't hit me or talk about classmate and everything. When I know your reputation around town, nah, bro, stay the fuck away from me. Because you're going to make me do something to you. Stay the fuck away from me. I don't give a fuck if we went to school together. I don't give a fuck if we stay in the hometown. Whatever. If I don't talk to you or you not, you never came over to my mother's house and if my dad never told you to go outside and get some pussy, you probably not my brother for real. I'm just going to keep it a hundred with you. So all I'm saying is just don't lock me in with these other niggas. Like that shit is, that shit gets under my skin in a different way. Like don't mix me in with other people. I don't like that shit. But this has been Ronald Winston Outlet Podcast, man. I'm still on this road trip.